Wow. Can you guys guess what that is? I hope that's not going to get copyrighted on YouTube. <laughs> Any guesses? Well, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's Meatloaf Bad Out of Hell on vinyl. Uh, <laughs> just a second, make sure we got... Okay. Oh, man. I just received this in the mail today from a, a viewer. Um... And uh, it sounds absolutely amazing. It really does. I'm proud to own it. Um, I could only show you a tiny bit of it there because of copyright issues. But we'll be playing this on my broadcast on Friday night. Cheers, guys. Not the whole thing, but parts of it. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Number 148? I don't remember. 140-something. I'm 47, I think. Cheers. Um, yeah. So, uh, but so the first, before we get into homebrew related stuff, I just want to talk a little bit about this because um, I put the pl I put the plastic on it. It didn't come with the plastic, but I think it was during my uh, broadcast or so something like that a few weeks ago, or maybe even a month or so ago, and I'd forgotten all about this. Somebody asked, wanted. He said that they wanted to send me a meatloaf bad out of hell album. I guess I mentioned. I don't know. <laughs> you know. If I'm not careful what I say, you know, I must have said something about man. I'd like to get. I got to have that on vinyl one of these days. You know. Well, as for usual, somebody's decided to say, well, we can arrange that. So he must have contacted me. Now I don't remember exactly how it happened. Um, because, you know, because it was during my broadcast and it was like, you know, could have been, who knows, right? Could have been half in the bag for all I know. <clears throat> but, um, he obviously contacted me and I, I, I gave him my address. I mean, you know, obviously checked it out first. I don't just give my address out to everybody. And I, I kind of forgot about it. And today it arrived. Now, the problem is, is that it's, I don't, I've lost the contact information for the person who sent this to me. There's no note in it because they sent it um, straight from, oh, straight from a website called Fun, Fun Records. And it's a German website. And um, I guess it came straight from there. So there's obviously no note. But, um, I've looked through all my emails and everything. I've searched. I can't find the the person who sent it. So anyways, if you're watching all the way from Berlin, um, Germany, this came. If you're watching, please contact me once again and and so that I can thank you personally because I'm, I listened to the whole thing and it's just incredible sounding. Um, lump in my throat during that last song there. Seriously, I have no joke. And um, I just want to be able to thank the person in person, or at least through an email or something like that. So, awesome! Cheers. Um, as you can see, I you know I love my vinyl, and uh, and this is one of the classics that I had back in the day. And of course, mine was probably all scratched, and I do have it on CD, but nothing beats the good old black wax. Anyways. Some people do this, some people, mo a lot of guys who, who do the Homebrew Wednesdays, they don't do it every week. And probably because they, they don't have, A, they don't have time, and B, there's, they don't have anything to really talk about, you know, that's Homebrew related. Well, that, I find the same. I find the same thing. I don't always have Homebrew related stuff to talk about. It's only been seven days since I did this last, but I do want to do it every week. So... As a result, you're going to get stuff that's not brew-related, unfortunately. If that's a, a problem, um, I apologize. If it's not a problem, great. Um, I do have a beer in my hand. We are sitting back having a beer, and I'm talking to you. And and I think that's really the point. Um, I've got stuff brewing back there. Um, and, you know, I've got plans for that. I'm going to put some... 
uh, extra hops in there. I'm going to dry. I got actually got a Cooper's IPA that I'm going to be doing soon that I'm going to dry hop. So that's all I really have time for at the moment. But I got tons of hops, and uh, you know, got to use some of them up. But again, if I'm going to do this every week, I'm going to get there's going to be topics that aren't homebrew related sometimes. So I am brewing. I have a batch of wine brewing back there as well. And I have a, uh, a real ale, a Cooper's real ale brewing. And I used US05 yeast because I've got tons of it. Thank you to people who sent stuff. And that's another thing I want to talk about too in a minute. So why not use up some of that yeast on some of the kits to make the kits taste better? And of course, you know, I want to do some real, you know, some actual brewing, like, you know, with, you know, grains and whatnot as well. Last couple days, I've been kind of tidying up down here. Um, you can't see the rest of it, but there's quite a few, there's quite a bit of junk. You can see there's a symbol over there. My drums aren't set up right now. There's no room. Um, there's just a lot of stuff. There's a lot of boxes from things that have come in the mail the last few months. And so I started going around and just kind of cleaning up and, and, you know, getting rid of some of the boxes. And, you know, when I get stuff in the mail, I like to keep it in the box for a while with the note that comes with it. Because that reminds me of who sent it. If I just take everything out and put it all away all right away, I, I'll forget. Oh, who sent this bag of light, light, uh, liquid malt extract or, or dry malt extract? Or who sent these hops? Or who sent the, you know, this thing, this glass? So I keep them in the boxes and of course they accumulate and there comes a time when I just, I have to say, okay, enough's enough. I got to take all this stuff and put it where it belongs, put it away, shelve it so that I can, you know, go ahead and use it and, and have it all in one spot. And unfortunately when I do that, it's possible that I may forget who sent what and all that kind of thing. So I was going through and, you know, putting things away and stuff and I just thought, you know, I really, the people who've sent things, I just want to thank you so much, all of you. The people, you guys who watch, you guys who thumb up the videos, you guys who, you know, subscribe, and you guys who send these things in. Because when I'm going through all this stuff, putting it away, it really, it really hits home that, you know, this is all this stuff was, you know, was, was mailed to me. I'm a pretty lucky guy. That's all I can say. I really am. So cheers to all of you. Thank you very much. I'm my family, they did jealous of me. It's like, oh, yeah, you got another package. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, sorry. <laughs> you know? uh, so um, a little off topic here. Um, since we've you know gone through the brewing stuff, I'm brewing something there. I've got stuff going on. I am due to make more brewing videos, of course. There's one thing that I, I was kind of thinking about, and that is that I have, I have another YouTube channel that uh, I don't talk about very much, and I probably should talk about it more. The channel is called Craig Talk. Um, and I've decided... See, I used to just put videos on there about deep stuff, like talking about like life or ghosts or life after death or science or the universe or space or something or whatever. Um, Again, you know, you run out of things to talk about. I'm still going to do those kinds of things, but I think more often than not, I'm going to just go on there and just blog. Just just talk about stuff. It doesn't have to be homebrew related. It can be anything, something. Because I told a story last week on my homebrew Wednesday video about how I acquired the sequelizer back here. And a lot of guys really enjoyed that story. Just, you know, telling them how it happened and what, you know, what went down. Um... And how I got these all matching and all that. I and mean, they enjoyed the story. So I think maybe... I have tons of stories, believe me. I have tons of things that have happened to me in my life. To do with my music and my... my you know, in school. Um, everything. Like, you know, I've had a pretty interesting life. And there's lots of things to talk about. So if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to my other channel. Craig Talk. And I'll put a link down in the description below to that channel. So when you're done watching this video, you can go straight to that after you thumbs up this video, of course. <laughs> and after you comment, you can go straight to that channel. If you want to watch me yak about stuff, that's where you want to go.
it's funny because, you know, it tastes more like a sort of just an, I don't even know. I mean, there's, there's really, for some reason, the hops didn't come through in this one. Um, and I, I don't blame Cooper's. I mean, it, it could be an older kit. It doesn't have an IPA hop profile. It, it doesn't. That's why it's got all the grains and all the bitterness and everything that it should have. But it doesn't have that hop spike on the tongue. And that's why I recommend when you do these IPA beer kits, the, the pre-hopped beer kits, get yourself a pot on the stove. Get yourself some Cascade hops or some other type of hops that you like that are fairly low alpha and boil them for five minutes, 10 minutes and add that to your, you know, one ounce, one and a half ounces, you know, of hops or dry hop. Dry hopping is simple. All you do is you make the beer, however you make the beer. And then about five days after you pitch the yeast, about five days into fermentation, simple. You just take off the lid you throw the hops in. You can put, put them in a, a muslin bag. Make sure you sterilize the bag, or sanitize the bag in star sand or boil it or something. You don't have to worry about boiling the hops because they're already sanitary. Hops, by nature, are antibacterial. So either put them in a, a, you know, a sack, chuck them in your beer, put the lid back on, wait about another five or six days to a week, and then take them out and then bottle your beer or keg it. You're going to have more of a hop hoppy you know thing there you're going to really learn what hops are all about if you've never used hops before then go to your store and buy an ipa then you're going to learn what you're going to be in for i'd hate to see a boil five gallon or you know make a five gallon batch of beer and with hop you know with lots of hops in it and not like it some people don't some people don't like hops very much um I happen to love them. In fact, you know, they're great for sleep. If you have trouble sleeping, make a hoppy beer. And those hops, man, they're just the most relaxing, tranquil herb. You know, they're, they're from the, actually, they're no, little known fact, hops are from the cannabis family. Now, they don't get you high, but they've got the same mellowing effect. And they're wonderful. If you can get used to the taste of them, if you, you know, if you don't like them, try to get used to it because... Well, those of us who are hop heads, we know what they do. They put you to sleep. So, but it's still a very good beer. You know, the other interesting thing is I, I used USO5 yeast in here. So it tastes completely different than it did with the Cooper's yeast. It was an experiment, you know, me trying a different yeast and I didn't know what to expect, but it's very good. It's borderline Pilsnery, actually, really. Even though it's a darker, you know, it's a it's a more of an amber color. It's just got a very clean taste. It's very refreshing. I came home the other day, and I was so thirsty, and I, I had a choice: water or beer. Well, I chose beer, and I poured myself a glass of this, and oh, it was really good, very refreshing. So, anyways, guys, I'm I'm out. I want to thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my my Craig Talk channel if you want to hear me talk, that is. Um, and uh, that's about it. Go to 17brewcrew.com. There's another site I want to promote. 17brewcrew.com. It's a forum. Uh, I haven't been spending much time there lately. I, I should, I got to go back there and, and answer some questions. But it's a great community. We have a great community. And there's lots of little bubble communities in the entire homebrew community at large, there's lots of smaller sort of sub communities, and they're it, it's all a great community. It's all a great community, but ours is awesome too. We welcome you into the forum, and there's never any nobody's going to tease you. I don't care what question you ask. There's no stupid questions. Basically, there's no stupid questions. Cheers, guys. I'm out. Thank you very much for watching. Friday night. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm live. You get the picture. Cheers. 17.